we bow down and worship Yahweh. We Yahweh, 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 Hallelujah, Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. Took 
The promise of God and the grace of God. Amen? And God promised for us, he said, is that we will not perish, he, we will not be harmed. He said that his promise towards us is good. That we shall live and enjoy life and the fruit of the land. That we shall live and experience life and life eternally. That's God's promise. I don't know who would have promised you anything else, but I want to let you know God's promise still stands. And great is God's faithfulness. I want to let you know, God is not looking today at your ability. God is looking at your availability. I've heard that one time. And I've learned to make myself available that my abilities can please God. Amen? I want to encourage you, continue to make yourself available to God. You don't have to be perfect. You don't have to know anything and everything. You see, Peter and John wasn't educated men, but all they know, they had a good relationship with God. And that is what made the way for them. Amen? I want to speak to us about the grace of God. You see, the grace of God, we would use, oh, the grace of God is sufficient. You see what the grace of God does? In all your mistakes, in all your wrongdoing, in all of your weakness, God's grace is a pot of food made with love, with patience, with kindness, with tolerance, that, that when you think that your failure should have caused you to end, you still keep succeeding because God's grace goes way beyond your mistakes and failures. Amen? How many people believe that? You have to believe that. Some of us, if we look at our life and know where we are coming from and the things we have done, we don't really deserve it. But God's grace is sufficient to bring you way past where you're coming from and to still bring you into a place of success. Regardless, sometimes you look at your life and you wonder all kinds of things why you're going through. It's the grace of God you're going through. 
and the grace is going through with you, God promised us an expected end. Regardless. I've looked at my son for a period of his life. There was a time when my wife was there. You know, she wanted everything right like a mother. She wanted him to succeed and everything. But there was a time when he was, he was in a certain stage and phase. And then suddenly a shift came. He started to operate a little different. He started to do things a little better. And when we look at it, it's not the whip. It's not our hands. It's not by force. But the Spirit of the Lord knows how to create that shift in a timely manner. That's what the grace of God is about. The grace of God knows how to change your mistakes and make it into a successful situation. I want to encourage you today. Live in the grace of God. Live in love. Live in the promise. Believe what God say. Speak it over your life every day and wait for it. Somebody said wait for it. You will see the fullness thereof. Just wait for it. God bless you. My scripture reading 